two words. Lycoris like City Coil. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It is Squids. I figured today I would do my annual uh, mid-season review of what's up, what's worth a shit, what isn't worth a shit, why I think it's going to be, and you know, all that fun stuff and my opinions that don't really matter at all, but I'm going to give them to you anyways and see what you guys think. So uh, without further ado, let's start. All right, so first things first, we have our sus made. So far, we're only about two episodes in. You know, this was a later start into the season. It's definitely something that I wouldn't take seriously, per se. But the fact that, you know, he's always suspicious, like, hitting on him and trying to get with him, but in, like, the most weird ways, is very wholesome and it's cute. And I definitely recommend this one for anybody just trying to find something to fill the time all right and next up we have lumino switches uh this one's another kind of wholesome musical one which i'm kind of really into um you've got you know your, your basic uh outcast in life that don't fit in exactly where they're working and they start a little musical thing to entertain the people you know it's not something that's gonna be top tier of course but if you're looking for something entertaining you like music and a little comedy bang got your show right here and you know what no shame no shame this is the kind of stuff i eat up so if if i told you that was crap i'd be a hypocrite definitely not top tier definitely not bottom tier definitely a little bit below mid so there's that now would i be lying if i said this wasn't your most cliche um well actioned piece of crap dude that, you know, doesn't really have anything cool about him with a yandre girl with pink hair and a freaking side biatch with blue hair. You know, maybe. But the show is so well packed with freaking the action scenes and the animation. And, you know, the story's pretty cliche. But let me tell you, it is definitely enough to keep me enticed. And you know what? Is that easy sometimes? Yes, yes it is. But you know what? I'll be goddamned if I'm not gonna enjoy Engage Kiss. So far we're on episode five and I have little grapes with it. Little. All right, and then next down the train we got, uh, when will Ayuma make his move? This is pretty much just your basic ass uh, slice of life romance, you know, high school wise with, you know, the girl, being all shy about relationships and the guy being unforward about them but they both understand they like each other and they embrace each other all the time um mc's cute or no i guess not the mc but the main chick is cute uh the mc is pretty pretty decent dude i mean it's a good it's it's a little over the middle of the road but it's definitely enjoyable so i have nothing bad to say about this nor nothing great so after that, we're on to the next one. All right, then after that, we have Bushikiri, or Shine On, which is a, I want to say, you know, like Shogun samurai period piece with some slight taste of comedy. Um, you know, it's got that, like, pastel look to it. It, it. It's funny. The action scenes when they're there are pretty dang good. Story-wise, not super impressed, but it's, it, I mean, it's definitely not no Blade of the Immortal. Well, let's just get that out of the way here. Um, it's not going to be for everybody, but my God, the, some of the characters in this show are so great. I mean, you got these freaking seven outcasts and essentially they just, they just go around uh, filling in the shoes for these um, old ass samurais that are deceased. Uh, with only one remaining, which is their master, and they's going around trying to fix everything up. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. Not a lot of people talk about this one right now, but hey, that's fine. It, it could be a gem one day. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty here. Some of the stuff that I am so happy about. Call of the Night is one that I know a lot of people were anticipating, and it has not let us down yet. That intro and outro... By the, by the, uh, I want to say it's the, is it the Crazy Nuts? 
I want to, or is it the creepy nuts? It's one of the two. But they did such a fantastic job doing it. It is so unbelievable. The visuals are insane. The color contrast about the life at night. Um, first, the love vampires. If if you haven't seen this one yet, you really are missing out because oh my goodness, they did. They're doing such a fantastic job with it. And it's it's one of those ones where it's like oh the episode's over already, and it's it sucks. And to be honest with you, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. And I, I'm putting this one very top tier for the season. Granted, you know, yeah, we'll just keep we'll keep it at that. But it's it's definitely one I definitely recommend checking out. And if you haven't already, why are you not? <laughs> isekai harem what do i say about this one i'll be honest with you i'm a degenerate i love this one so much it's like essentially taking everything from your cliche harems and just fully riding with it right but instead of having slaves to help you with your adventure you got slaves to help your adventure and love sex with you but <laughs> it's much of a degenerate as it makes me you know whatever i don't give a shit it's it's got great animation um so far i really haven't gotten super depth into the story but every episode so far has kept me enticed and just freaking loving it um so yeah if that's the kind of thing you're into i say go watch it because you're missing out and how oh, are you missing out <laughs> Now, going into this one, I honestly didn't know what to expect. I know the trailer when that dropped had huge reception for my stepsister as my ex. And I, I'm kind of in, the, you know, like that rom-com, awkward situation-esque style vibe animes. Um, but honestly, so far, it's been extremely wholesome. Um, you know, it's it's pretty much those two being like in denial. They still like each other, even though they're step-siblings and have to try to pretend that they're not never dated. But let me tell you. I've been enjoying it, and I think it's freaking fantastic. Um, definitely one that I, you know, probably everybody's gonna forget after the season's over. It's not gonna go down in history or anything. But hey, you know what? It's there. It's cute. Go give it a shot. Hey, here we go, baby. My pride and joy of summer 2022. Lycoris like Three Coil. This one is an original anime by A1 and. This is the superior of the A1s right now. But, oh my goodness. The action scenes are superb. Our MC, cute as all heck. Cute as all heck. And the sub-characters are pretty dang great, too. Um, the plot so far has kept me enticed. It, it's actually you, one of those ones you have to pay attention to, for the most part, to actually kind of figure out the mysteries ahead of time, which I really enjoy that kind of thing. And, you know, it's pretty much based on a bunch of schoolgirls. Um, they're, they're in this, like, government thing that tries to take care of, like, the problems before they turn into bigger problems. And the government hides it from everything. But, my goodness, it is so good. I can't praise this one enough. This is one that I will be honestly buying and rewatching down the line. So far, top tier. Top tier. Of course, last but not least, how could I forget Teppen? Um, this one already had a little controversy with episode 2 being cancelled because of, obviously with the Japanese Prime Minister and all that fun stuff. They had to cancel because it had to do with assassination. Um, but hey, you know, shit happens. You push, you go. Um, but so far, I mean, this isn't anything to write home about. Um, but it's kind of funny got cute girls a little comedy pretty much a bunch of girls living in a dorm doing stand-up comedy to try to stay in the dorm doing stand-up comedy <laughs> i don't know what else much to say about it i mean it's definitely good but it's it's not it's not top tier it's it's, it's not deja vu it, it's it's so so but i mean i could i could say i could say a lot of things but uh it's here. I mean, the animation's good. The, the soundtrack's I eat. But it's definitely one that I don't jump on the freaking online to go watch right off the bat. That's 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 a promise you. 
But yeah, that's that's that. I, I don't got much more else to say about it. I honestly don't know why I've even given it so much screen time, but all right. Right, so all things considered, that is what I've been watching, and those are my personal opinions. Take it with a grain of salt. Do what you gotta do with it. Um, obviously, I'm watching a couple more, like Overlord Season 4, which, so far, the animation's been pretty good, and the story's been promising. I am not a manga reader on that one. So I couldn't possibly tell you honestly, but so far compared to season three, it's good and the hype's amazing. Um, the Devil's a part timer season two. Is a f <laughs> Never thought we'd get that, did we? Now, but here we are nine years later with that. So you know maybe uh, no game, no life, or I don't know. Freaking, there's a few that I could just think of that just need to get memed to crap so that we actually ever get a season two. Um, like like Sugumamo, which. Season 3 would be really cool at this point, but it's only been a couple years, so I'm not going to whine about it. But yeah, I've been watching a few other ones, but other than that, that's about it, honestly. It's not the best season I've, I've seen, and it's there's definitely next year is going to be freaking packed. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Even next season's looking pretty good. But uh, that's pretty much all I have for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a like. Um, give it a sub if you enjoy it enough to want to watch me again i guess i can understand why you wouldn't want to <laughs> but so yeah that's that and uh with that out of the way i'll see you guys in the next video and y'all take care deuces